Are you able to speak Chinese? 你会说汉语吗 ？Hi, friends. Welcome back to our program. Our program will continue to help you learn Chinese in a new way. In the last two episodes, we have already learned 中国梦 and how to use the adverb 都 First, let's review a little bit by translating the following sentences. 你的中国梦是什么 ？What's your China dream? 这些句子你都懂吗 ？Do you understand all of these sentences? Did you get these sentences right? If not, please watch the two last episodes again. Today, we want to ask you two questions. The first one is, 你会说汉语吗 Are you able to speak Chinese? You may say, 我会说汉语 or 我不会说汉语 I can speak Chinese, or I can't speak Chinese. Second question is, 你会来中国学习汉语吗 Will you come to China to study Chinese? You may answer me, 我会来 I will come, or 我不会来 I won't come. Both of these two questions have the word 会 but they have different meanings. Let's look at one more example. 按理说，乌龟大师会选一个真正会功夫的人。是啊，至少手能碰到脚趾。In this plot, she says 会 two times. What does each one mean? The first one means will. Second one means be able to. Okay, now you may have a question. If this word has two meanings, then how can we distinguish them? Today we will continue to use the movie Kung Fu Panda to show you the differences. Now let's see some plots from this movie. Well, could you tell me what the word "hui" means in these three plots? Right, the all mean will. Actually, "hui" is a model word. Which occurs before a verb and express the meaning of possibility and ability. In these three plots, the "hui" is expressing the meaning of possibility. This meaning of "hui" also implies the future time. Let's see more examples. 明天会下雨。明天会下雨。It will rain tomorrow. 我希望。我们会再见面。我希望我们会再见面。I hope we will meet again. How could we make the negative sentences with this word to express won't, impossible? It is always negated with 不 and never with may. For example, 我不会去他家吃饭的。I won't go to his home to have a meal. Okay, now let's watch two more plots to review the meaning of possible will. You 以为这么容易？我会把无限神功的秘诀随随便便给你。不，我。你，你只是个大胖熊猫。我不是大胖熊猫。我是无敌胖熊猫，雾吸铁齿扣。哦，你知道这招？你吓唬我，你吓唬我，师傅才不会教你呢。对，我是无师自通，接招吧。OK，Did、okay, you get it？ 
你会说了吗 ？In this sentence, I use the 会 to express innate ability or ability based on learning and knowledge. There is an exception. Sometimes we will use 会 as a verb, meaning as be acquainted with, to know well. Then 会 can be added to a noun directly. For instance, 他会汉语 He knows Chinese. 你会什么 What do you know? 按理按理说，乌龟大师会选一个真正会功夫的人。是啊，至少手能碰到脚趾。Through all these examples, we can deduce that the structure of 会 will always be subject. 会 verb or noun, such as 我会说中文。我会说中文。The negative is 不会。他不会写汉字。他不会写汉字。Some of you may ask what's the difference between 会能可以。The all translated into Chinese as can, could, and the all are model words. Okay, let me try to explain them to you. 能 expresses physical ability. Or the unobstructed ability to perform some action. 我的嗓子疼，不能说话。我的嗓子疼，不能说话。My throat is sore, so I cannot speak. 可以 is sometimes used to express knowledge based on physical ability. Apart from this usage, the primary use of 可以 Is to express permission to perform an action. 我妈妈说我可以和你去看电影。我妈妈说我可以和你去看电影。My mom says I can go with you to watch a movie. Okay, today we have learned how to distinguish between uses for the word 会 It can be used in the structure subject, 会 verb or noun, which always expresses someone has the ability to do some activity or cope with some event. When it used in the sentences with the future time, like 明天会 will suggest the possibility of this situation. Now it is your turn to do some exercises. Please translate these sentences into Chinese. The first one: I can speak Chinese, but I can't write Chinese characters. The second one: Tomorrow, I will go with you to watch a movie. We will give you the answers in next episode. Today, let's end our session with this phrase. 融会贯通 which means to achieve mastery through a comprehensive study of the subject. I sincerely hope that you can study Chinese like this. If you have more time, please watch this video again. There are many sentences we haven't been able to practice. Hopefully, you can listen to these harder sentences and imitate these by yourselves. Hope to meet you soon in the next session.